Reveal thyself. Okay. Maybe we better head up the left stairway instead. Or hell, let's just head through the main door. Yeah, let's just head through the main doors. That's an option. Okay, now the gal upstairs is gonna hear. My goodness. Fine. Let's wait and slip in behind her. And we'll get to the left that way. That's the nice thing. Always plenty of ways to go. Of course, there are no lovely stairs here. Hey, reading material. I almost skipped that. Attention! Those seeking... Oh, we've, we've already read that anyway. There's another copy of it out on the front. All right. Let's put this right back where we found it. Blink. Let's get upstairs. Do a real save here, because we're about about to be done with base camp forever. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, base camp. Ways, so she won't see us go out the front door. What's that there? Give her a bit longer, apparently. There we go. Head out of here again. that. Let's head back through site four one last time. Get that last crate. Where is this person? There she is. Knew I heard somebody. For the builder's sake, what was Where that? Where is she going? Crud. Thought she would head to sites 1, 2, and 6. Oh, that time she did. What do you know? Hardest part remaining in this mission. Site 6 is a little bit tough. Hello? Requires a little bit of fancy work to successfully ghost. Now the hardest thing left is just finding all of the wandering pickpockets because their patrol routes are big and the direction they take at any given moment is randomized. <coughs> so you just kind of have to get lucky to find them all. It'll happen eventually. Uh, 
Oh uh, yes, one last thing we can't forget. I might have to jump down one last time. We need to relight the I am part of gas lamp. Machine, and therein lies my salvation. Yeah, we're gonna have to come down one more time. So let's get to where we can relight the lamp, because all the cover we have here is gonna disappear as soon as we do. So this will be tough, so I'm gonna say. Well, that time I got stuck in the wall. Can't have that. There we go. Almost forgot about relighting the gas lamp. Now site three is exactly as we found it. Site four is exactly as we found it. Main base is almost exactly as we found it. We can't return the, uh, we can't close the KD gate switch, but that's back where we found it. And we are ready to move on. So, let's do. Let's head for Site 5. Hopefully we'll beat the engine back to Cavador's bedroom. That's the hardest part of Site 5. There are actually a couple of little tricky bits in Site 5, but... Nothing too awful. There's another purse. Which we want. Gotta find a good spot to wait for it and grab it. This looks good. That leaves only one wandering purse. Four pickpockets total, and one wandering, but two wandering pickpockets. Four total after we get this purse. So he's passed. Let's zip out. Brings my total to two thousand seventeen. Maybe some purses down there. That's a little creepy. We already got her purse. None of them have the last one. Saw me. What noise there? Someone must have heard me, I think. Oh, no, nope, we've got a stuck guard here. Okay, that means we're gonna have to attack this. From a different direction. Which is fine. I'll clear site five first. 
for Karis' sake, is there someone there? There's only one way into Site 5, and it looks like I'm gonna need to wait here for that patroller. Yeah, that stuck guard shouldn't mess up too much. <coughs> I should be able to come up behind him. So here in Site 5, just, we have to time this watcher, so... Wait until the hallway's clear, wait until it's turned away, jump in behind it, no problem. Now... With Cavador's key, we can get in. You want to wait here until you see a patrolling mechanist to turn around and leave. So if you head forward into there and your timing is off, you are royally screwed. Wait till you see him head up the stairs. And then we'll move in here. Because there's another watcher inside, and we have to time it. But there are no shadows to hide in. All we have is the option to get right under the watcher. So we need to make sure we've got as much time as possible. Oops. I need to be able to see it just a little bit better. Okay. Now's the time to go. Try and get under it. Then move over here. Get into this room. You need what we need to do is get to this shadow in that stairway. straight in. Okay, I tried to get out from under it too fast. We can get under it right away. Still tried to move too fast. Look right here, we're still safe. Yep. Maybe we don't have long at all. Okay, that... Got too greedy playing for space. Dang it. It's a dangerous thing when all you need is to be faster case here with the patroller. Get into this shadow and we're good. Getting out is thankfully less complicated, but... Now I'm just gonna wait here for the mechanist to come back, and I'm gonna grab his purse. That'll be our seventh of ten pickpockets. It'll leave just one wandering purse, one wandering potion, and one static potion, but I know where it is. Seven out of ten pickpockets, our loot total is now 2,067. If you come in here, 
There's a two lost city loot bits. Bring our total to 2107. Head in here. There's another copy of the new scripture if you missed the first one. Two interesting spots. As as we could in Thief Gold. You can hide inside the uh, doorways to keep the Lost City lights from coming on. Now here is a problem. This will be a supreme bust. There's a purse in this crate that we need, but picking the lock will wake her up, and in fact, if we're too far forward, she'll go into hunt mode. So the trick is to jump onto this first uh, chest and do a real save before I wake her up, just in case. Then start lock picking from as far back as you can. My eardrums do tap much today. Hopefully she won't go into hunt mode. So we can back up. So as you can see her first alert hasn't settled yet. So then when we open this, I found that the key is speed. I've seen the or maybe, let me try creeping. <coughs> Perfect. Although, now I'm afraid this guy's gonna get us. He chose a bad time to leave. Nope, that's a perfect shadow. How do you like that? So now... We can head over here and get upstairs. Upstairs is fun. Like I said, I hope that we beat the engine back to here. So he's a, the guard there at the end is a pivoter. We need to get into this room while he's turned away. We don't want to wake any of these people up. Thankfully, we can just open that crate for the gold nugget. Brings our loot total to 2307. And now, if we just. If someone is there, then show thyself. Wait here for the pivot. We can time our rush out there. And stay clear of both him and the watcher. Now we need to clear Cavador's <coughs> bedroom, which is right here. So, we're going to follow her and just use her pivots to clear the room. <coughs> Three things we need in here. Two candlesticks. There's one. There's the other. Then bring the total to 2407. Bounce up here. Grab Cavador's diary. And we can use her safe. Mm, what's that? Actually, it might be smarter to run down to the ground floor art thou there and just follow her again art thou there okay. 2407 loot was the grab Cavanor's diary for the builder's sake what was that back out just like that mm. all right Cavador's diary was of course a bonus objective Cavador's diary this could be useful let's read it mm. ah wondrous discovery for the chance to learn here I would excuse Karis far more than he hath done mayhap I spoke too soon of all the wonders our ancestors left for our discovery Karis is fascinated by only the smallest portion yet without his aid twould be not to explore 
Still more rust gas hath arrived. I sent it as well to the lava, for I cannot convince Karis how little use we have for it. If only the Cetus Amicus could carry more digging supplies instead. Site 2 goes best. It hath yielded up what Karis wanted, and now we explore its greater mysteries. How beloved of the builder these ancestors must have been, for surely he did show them all matter of wonders we can barely comprehend. Time will be short for my side projects, at least until the next shipment. Even then I fear more unreasonable demands, until there is barely time to sleep, lest we fail to meet Karis' schedule. So Karis isn't very nice to cabin door, apparently. So to get out, we just need to cross past them to that shadow straight in front of the door. We just need to time the patroller and the watcher, as before. We can use hardcover for both endeavors, which is nice. Now we just want to slide down to ground level. You might recognize this spot from Thief Gold. Paying attention. If someone is there, then show thyself. We need, of course, to do it silently. And ideally. Come into the light so that I might see thee. That's another place where we have to take a first alert, so. Maybe. Maybe is the fuel. hoping I had time to get back to the hardcover, but maybe I should just run back out down the hallway. Well, no, that makes getting out downstairs very difficult. So I'll try to just take a first alert up here. Is that thou, friend? How did it see me? And Karis said, let us give thanks to the builder. If someone is there, then show them. Okay, apparently that far pillar is not very good hard cover. Come into the light so that I might see thee. And behold, a man will come unto thee, and he will be a leader of men. And he will be a wager of war, and he will be a shedder of sap, and he will be a spiller of blood. In Karasnet, stop thy flutter! Okay, he pivoted back. The saplings did so unnatural trance okay. that we, we need to wait for him to pivot and then time the watcher. And we'll just, we'll and just get out that same way we came in. It is Karis did raise us up against them. That we want for Karis sake, is there someone there? Okay, we can get clear of the watcher easily enough. And Karis said, Let us give thanks to the we just need him to decide to stay turned. Perfect. We're out. We're almost out. Still need to get out of Site 5, but... What you might remember was the arena back in Thief Gold. Alright, so where's Homeboy now? He's down there. Is thy head? Okay, nope, he's over here. So we're gonna wait until he's off over there, and then actually getting out of here won't be so bad. I don't know why I remembered this being harder than it is. Okay, he's gone. I don't think the watcher will see me right here. Just key. Should be able to just run out. Dang it. Okay, now I'm gonna have to get under it on the other side, the way I did before. Nope, 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 
You stay right here, Garrett. Stay right here. Okay, yeah, so you can see me there. I was worried about that. If I could get out behind it, that would be ideal. <laughs> I don't think I can. No. Under it. Same as before. <coughs> Stupid pipe. Gotta stay crouched. Where it sees me. Okay. Now we can get out. Perfect. Let's get Cavador's key. Open and lock our exit. We can now drop Cavador's key because that is on his patrol route. We have no further use for it. Let's get out of here to our left. Let's time this watcher. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. As soon as I get to a good shadow, I'll do my real save. Alright, Site 5 is clear. We'll do Site 6 next. We've got five sites left to clear. Site 9 is our exit route. So we'll do 6 next. It's not bad. The person who returns the diamond drill bit last seen near Site 6 shall be rewarded with an extra sleep cycle. Let the Builders Faithful turn their eyes to a task, and lo, it shall be done, Brother Cavador. There's a Watcher and a Conversation to worry about in here. The conversation is fun, so you want to listen to it if you can. Yeah, I knew it was possible to get by there without alerting the Watcher. Where's my conversation? <laughs> 